Video four, small ball, pro one, 45 out, 45 in. The 45 is the most prominent visual that needs parallax illumination. The parallax line really needs to be illuminated when you're working with 45s. It's important for the other visuals as well, but when it comes to the 45, parallax awareness is a must. And the reason for that is because the sight line is out in space. And if you don't use the parallax line, you only have the aim line. And as you progress into your work with CTE when you're in full stance, you can't see the aim line when you're in full stance, but you can see the parallax line. So you're really handicapping yourself for aiming and uh, aligning uh, properly if you uh, ignore the parallax line when you're working with 45s. This first setup that we have here is a 45 outside. And it's a left cut, so I'm mean, once again, I'm just going to rotate my head until I can pick up the quarter of the cue ball to just inside the edge of the outer edge of the object ball. Actually, that's adjusted by 1 16th of an inch. I'm not going into the why here. But it, it just for uh, 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 instructional purposes, adjust it slightly to the inside. So I'm just going to substitute the regulation ball for the small ball. So I'm just going to pick up the left edge of the small ball to the to just inside of the outer right edge of the object ball and just do my sweep right to center cue ball. Now Yes, there's an aim line. Yes, there's a sight line. The stepping process is happening. All of that is occurring, like I indicated earlier, like a toppling of a line of dominoes. But the focus here is on parallax training. So when I adjust this ball to here, it becomes a bit of a thin cut. And this is a 45 inside. Now when I say inside, for those of you that are familiar with CTE, you know that the visual relationship uh, in, in, uh, uh, in relation to this right angle here has the object ball in a, a thick position, so it needs to be thin. So when I pick up the parallax line here, the inside of the small ball to just inside the right edge of the object ball, the only physical movement that will support the proper visual alignment is this is this rotation to center here. Now, this is nothing that's invented. These moves that I'm talking about, they're not created. This is what the players have been doing for decades upon decades upon decades. So, pool players are not picking out a center cue ball and moving straight in. Now, in the advanced forms of CTE, when you're using disguised pivoting, uh, disguised pivoting and you do the uh, stepping in full stance, you can move what appears to be straight in, but your head is actually angling to maintain the shot line as you go in. But th th this, is, this, is another, uh, this is another topic. What I want you to understand is, is that there are things that happen subconsciously that automatically follow when you're set up in the correct position. But it's to your advantage to understand all of this because eventually you have to use the sight line at times. You have to use the aim line at times. So you have to use the parallax line at times. So you have choices when you play. When I come to the table, I know four very strong CTE approaches within the context of my body of work. Pro 1, basic CTE, disguise pivoting, and Bustamante style half ball pivoting. I can move back and forth to whatever degree I need to during play to bring to bear what it is that might be a particular strength for that particular cue ball object ball relationship. So, uh, 
You can't just be a one-trip pony with a parallax line. As I said earlier, two lines are better than one line, and three lines are better than two lines. And essentially, when you add the, the missile, the no imagination shot line, you, 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 in effect, you actually have four lines you're working with. So, uh, back to this 45 inside. I'm going to pick up the uh, left edge, the single tick that represents that left edge of that small ball. Align it to just inside that outer edge, and the only way that my eyes can come to the inside is that my body has to support that movement. My eyes see, my body has to lead my eyes, or, or my eyes are going to lead, but my body has to support where my eyes are going. So the eyes see where I'm going, and then my body does this rotation here. So that's an inside visual sweep for pocketing this 45 inside. Uh, see you in video five.